Uh, one of the things people have been talking about a lot since uh, you showed the game is the voice protagonist in the game. Uh, where'd you come to that decision to use that? We wanted to tell this big epic story and, you know, and do that in a way that let the player sort of um, relay emotion and have these emotional moments. And there's, we realized, you know, there's only so much, you know, if you play Fallout 3, you know, Liam Neeson is the voice of your dad, and there are some good emotional beats there, but there's only so much you can do when you're just clicking on a, a, a line of dialogue and there's no spoken response and you can't, so the emotional depth that we got by having the voice protagonist had just w actually way more, way more intense than I even expected, like the advantages of it. Yeah, some of that was logistical. You know, can we... Oh, right. We didn't want it to hold back what we would usually do with, yeah. you know, uh, all of the choice we want. So, you know, they have spent years on it. Each of them have recorded over 13,000 lines. Um, and also we found, you know, uh, we found two great voice actors uh, for the male and the female players. Yeah. Well, Todd, could, can you believe it? We actually have them here. I can believe it. Yeah. Um, so we'd like to welcome to the stage uh, voice actors Brian T. Delaney, uh, Courtney Taylor, and voice director Kal Kalel Bogdanovich. How'd I do? <laughs> Not well. So welcome, guys. It's pretty exciting to have you guys. And, and I guess Courtney wasn't able to make it. Wait, yeah, she's, yep. she's lost somewhere in the uh, electronic miasma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get her here. Okay, so how did you guys get started on the project? I remember I looked it up, and uh, July 9th, 2013 was my first day of work. And uh, I remember I knew this was going to be a big deal, but, uh, but I, I didn't know the game title. I only knew the code name. <laughs> so we show up, and I do the first line, which happens to be War, War Never Changes. And I, I say, uh, Cal, just so, uh, can, they, can you tell me what the name of the game is? And he says, well, yeah, you know, it's, you know, the line. <laughs> right, the line, of course. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I know. I didn't. So when he told me and, and the scope of the game and what they were doing and what Todd and the team were doing, uh, it kind of blew me away, even more so than when I first found out I booked the job. So it's pretty cool. Cool. What are some uh, unique characteristics of working on a project this, this massive uh, compared to other things you've worked on? The, the number one difference between this and the many other games that I've worked on is the amount of uh, time and care that has gone into the writing and then the recording of this material. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about this, but in a lot of other games, AAA games, they'll wait till like the last month or two to record everything for the game. And it's a huge rush, and sometimes you're doing like 100 lines an hour, and it's nuts. Um, to have had the uh, artistic luxury of being able to work on this with these two, unfortunately Courtney's not here, these two incredibly talented actors for as long as we have, almost three years, definitely three by the time uh, it launches, is just, um, it, it shows a, an attention to detail and um, a respect for the material and for the audience that you just don't see elsewhere. It's really extraordinary. Yeah, and for you guys, what's it been like working with them? Awesome. You know, it's uh, again that goes back to if we're going to really do this the way we want, we need to logistically figure out how we can record voice for four years. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, Cal came in early. We did some. Uh, we also there's some performance capture we do in the game. So there's that that part of it as well. And we were anxious, you know, about having a voice because like it changes. Like, how do I feel about my character? Um, and we heard Brian and Courtney, uh, and we obviously, we, we, we auditioned a ton of people. I don't know if you know how know many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, oh, yeah. Get out, really? Uh, oh. oh, yeah. I but mean, you were number one. <laughs> um, and we'd have team voting. So we would, we would put up various pictures of different character faces and make everybody in the team, you don't know, okay, everybody in the team listen to them. And like, okay, because sometimes you get a good, a good voice, but he doesn't feel right to everybody. And it was like a, uh, you know... Um, Courtney! Courtney! Taylor. Courtney's Yay. here! Yay! <laughs> Courtney Taylor! <laughs> this was a late idea, by the way, everybody. Like, oh, you should come. It'll be, it'll be great. Um, but anyway, finding them really made, made uh, all the difference. And it's weird. Actually, today was the first day I actually met face-to-face. -face, I know. Um, and, like, I've been listening to his voice as the character. And they both have really owned the characters yeah. 
for years, and it um, it got better and better and better. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Emil can speak to it too. He well, does most of the writing. You know, you, you talk about well, so there, you know, you can play the game as a, a female protagonist or a male protagonist, and you, um, so everything, so either gender can do everything in the game, right? So, and it was an, it was really cool to, for me to see the differences in the lines and the and. Um, the things that Brian brought and the things that Courtney brought were sometimes completely different. Like I would write them a certain way or the, or the designers would write the, these things a certain way and you would expect a certain performance and then they would deliver something way beyond what you even expected. And so that, and that actually happened very early. And that, you know, I spoke earlier of trust. It establishes trust with, you know, when you have this very emotional st story and the trust you have to have that these, you know, these folks are gonna knock it out of the park. Uh, it, it just uh, the the recording sessions almost became conversational. You know what I mean? Just like let's go in, let's do it. You know, and the communication to be able to talk to these guys and Cal about that's not working. Can we try it this way? Uh, it, yeah, world of difference. Well, we're we're actually running out of time here. Thanks everybody for showing. Brian, I have one request for you. Uh, maybe you could give the whole audience a let's go, pal. Let's go, pal. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>